I know you're super excited about your new violin or viola, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how to take care of it so your joy can continue on for a long time. When you're opening your case, you wanna make sure that it's on a flat, safe surface. Most likely in um, your classroom, you're gonna be doing this on the floor. There's three things that you need to do to actually open the case. The first thing is unsnap the flap, which is right here. Pull it up, and there's two zippers, one here and here. They do have to be unzipped all the way to the back. And in the front, there is a clasp. You'll need to use two fingers, pinch it together, and then the front will open. Now, some cases come uh, with a blanket, like you see here. Some do not. Uh, so it just depends. And if you do have a blanket, and all you need to do is push it to the side when you're unpacking. Now, the care of this instrument is very important before your first class. On your violin or viola, I'm going to undo this strap here. It's just a little Velcro. And I need to show you something important. These little parts here, we kind of, they look like ears, but we call them pegs. It's very important that you do not twist these pegs at home because um, the strings here can break very easily. Also at the bottom, you have your four tuners, and these are what we call fine tuners. So still turning these, and I'm not turning them, um, can tighten the strings and make it break. So I strongly encourage that you keep your instrument safe and do not turn these pegs. Even if you have an Uncle Bob who says he knows how to tune this, don't let him tune it. Wait for your teacher to tune your instrument up. The bow here will not work in the beginning. You have to have what we call the magic rosin for the, the horsehair to work. So don't be worried. You just have to have rosin for the bow to work. The one thing I need to tell you about the bow is the horsehair hair here is very delicate and you do not want to touch it because we all have dirt and oil in our fingers and it'll stick to the hair and then the magic rosin will not go on. So never touch the hair of your bow. You wanna only pick up your bow by what we call the frog right here. And when you're done with it, you can put it back, slides in, and snap it in. And when you're done with class, you will just your little Velcro strap. Say good night to your instrument. And in this pocket here, you can keep your rosin or your shoulder rest, which will come with your instrument, but not the rosin, because that's handed out by the teacher. The three things to close it is this needs to latch. We need to zip it up and snap the flap. When you're transporting your violin or viola, we want to treat it like a baby. You never want to keep it in a hot car or a cold car. So you always want to bring it inside the house or into your school for your class or lesson. Have a great time making music.